I just put something in this hot water and I'm about to drink it. The government does not want you to know what I put in here. If you want to find out before they take this video down, stick around. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now waiting, better believe in your mind because it's everything. You can mold, shape, find almost anything. Hey everybody, this is Praxis. As we all learned during COVID, viruses are just a fake government conspiracy created by the Canadians in order to sell solar panels. But if you act, if you behave in a way as though there are particles floating through the air, uh, almost the way that scientists will regard light as either a wave or a particle, in reality it's probably neither, but if you act in a way in which you are simulating that that is uh, the reality, you can go a long way towards controlling that. And if we act as though viruses, which don't exist, are particles floating through the air and we can kind of do things to our bodies uh, in order to try to repel those, you can go a long way towards keeping yourself healthy. We're going to talk about just one of those techniques in this video and even if this technique doesn't work, it's really pleasant and I think you're going to enjoy it either way. What we're going to be using in this is a glass of hot water, uh, just came out of a, uh, a hot teapot. We're going to use some green tea. There's Newman's own green tea. I'm going to put links to what I'm using in this video, but you can just grab the stuff at your grocery store. But if you want, down in the description below, I've got some links to some of these things. We're going to be uh, steeping some green tea in here, and we're going to add something kind of special, a Ricola cough drop. Now, Ricola cough drops, they have all sorts of different um, you know, herbs in there, and it's my feeling and uh, this, to, yet, this has yet to be borne out by science, but uh, it's my feeling that these things go a long way towards kind of, uh, you know, adding a lot of the types of things into your body that tend to be good at thwart, you know, I'm gonna come clean. I, I'm one of those crazy people that think viruses are real. And, uh, you know, a lot of the things that are in Ricola cough drops are the types of things you wanna get into your body in order to kind of have that medicinal effect to, you know, ramp up your immune system and make you less susceptible to catching these things. Again, I'm not giving you medical advice at all. I'm just telling you what I do. And so far it's been working at 100%. Uh, so some of the things that are in here are peppermint. Uh, there's elderberry in here. There's wild thyme. Uh, there's horsehound. There's hysop. There's thyme. I'm not sure if I pronounced hysop correctly. There's mallow. There's lemon balm. There are uh, uh, linden flowers and there's sage. All these things are, uh, you know, herbs that are in here. And what what I just do is I take one of those cough drops and I pop it in the bottom there and I let that steep along with the tea and in addition to all the things that I'm speculating uh, you know that it might give you benefits in terms of your immune health and uh, you know just having tea it's putting warm liquid up into your nasal cavities and the steam goes in there and it helps to uh, you know keep them from getting as dry and cracked as otherwise you know adding a lot of those medicinal herbs I think can't help but uh, you know ink improve your immune response. Now, would I uh, drink a cup of this and then have someone who obviously is sick with the virus, you know, hacking in my face? No, I'd probably want to avoid that as well. But this is one extra layer of defense that I think seems to work pretty well. Uh, the logic is there that you have all of these herbs that are known to have some sort of, uh, you know, beneficial impacts on our immune health. And uh, like I mentioned earlier, even if this does nothing at all, it's an awfully tasty uh, way of taking your tea. I don't usually uh, sweeten my tea at all. Uh, it's just, you know, green tea bag or black tea bag I put in there. And, uh, you know, that's the way I normally do my tea. But adding the Ricola in there, it adds just a little bit of sweetness. It adds some of those other herbs. And I really, really like it. Uh, it hasn't steeped here long enough to be really be effective. But since I don't want this video to be a million hours long, I'll just uh, pretend as though it's all done here. Yep, that's overly hot water that hasn't steeped long enough. Uh, I'd recommend you give this a try. Again, I've got a, uh, I'll put a link in the description to the types of tea bags that I tend to use. I use organic uh, Newman's green tea. Uh, I sometimes will also use uh, organic uh, Newman's black tea, but uh, I'm convinced that green tea is better for you, so I usually try to do that and just save the black tea as kind of a special treat for myself. And I just use regular uh, Ricola uh, cough drops. Uh, Ricola makes different types of cough drops. I just use their kind of original. Again, links in the description below if you want to get those most of these things you can get at your local grocery store anyway. I think it's really great. And again, even if it does nothing to improve your immune health, it's really, really tasty. That's it. Thanks for watching. This episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com.
Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.